Hey everybody, a lot of people in the comments have been asking us over the last few months, why have we been talking so much about facilitation? And why have we been talking less about UX and product design? Well, the answer is kind of simple. The answer is that I've basically become more of a facilitator than a UX designer over the last few years. And that's just being represented in the content that's coming out on this channel. Now, that transition, that really happened because of the frustration I had as a UX designer trying to work with clients and realizing that this feeling that meetings were just such a waste of time was gonna wear me down. There was this image, I actually, uh, Ellie will put it up on screen. It's like from Game of Thrones, year one, me as a UX designer, this is how I looked. And then year seven, this is how I looked. Now there's a reason people create these memes and it's because UX designers and product designers, UI designers, we always feel like we're kind of being beaten down <laughs> by the people who are above us or by the teams we're working with. And we always feel like, I just kind of feel like the bricklayer and the person who's being told what to do, just do this thing. And everything always just felt chaotic and I was getting worn down. And over the years, I'm not gonna go into the entire story. That story is whatever, somewhere else, but it just was clear to me that I wanted to solve this collaboration issue. And so, you know, over the last five years, uh, my company, we started another company called Workshopper. The goal of that company was to figure out how do we improve collaboration. And now five years later, I'm here and my full-time job essentially is facilitating problem solving and decision making uh, sessions for companies, some of the coolest companies on the planet, or teaching other people to become a facilitator who can do that. For me, honestly, it's just the most enjoyable job I could ever imagine. You know, I get called up to go to Tokyo to run a workshop for Lego. I get called, like I just get all these really cool calls to do these really cool things. And also, Someone like me who's kind of chaotic and all over the place, I like not having to sit at my laptop and execute stuff. It's just not part of my personality. I love being in a group. I love helping people figure out the big picture stuff. I like being part of the strategy. I don't really like being part of the execution. And so that's the reason this channel has moved more in the direction of workshopping and facilitation purely because that's sort of where the interest of our company lies. And yeah, for me, uh, facilitation, that's, you know, in my opinion, one of the best skills that you can add to yourself as a UX designer or as a product designer, because then you become not just the person who can execute things and not just the person who understands like the user side or interface side of things. You also understand how to control groups, how to be part of the strategy. And that's really the beauty of it. And maybe a lot of you won't like it, but I think that a lot of you will see the value of adding this as a layer to the skills you already have. I can tell you for myself, I love this layer of skills that I've added to myself. The day rates are really great. I'll talk about that in another video. Maybe it's already done, maybe it's here somewhere. And to be honest, I just enjoy it a lot. So I'm kind of repeating myself, so I'm gonna end this video now. So if there's anything specific you'd like to hear about facilitation or my journey into that topic, uh, let us know in the comments. Love you all. And now I'm gonna drink this empty thing of ice. <laughs>